Hello, Math 300, and this is Professor Gonzalez, and I hope everybody is doing well out there. Um, yesterday was our first, the college's first day to, to completely go online, and I just wanted to um, kind of bring on, uh, first of all, do this video since I finally figured out how to do this. Tried a couple different platforms, and this one seems to work. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how to post this in uh, Canvas, um, but um, what I've done so far is just make a link out of this and then send it to you in an email and then you're able to hit the link and it'll play in YouTube. Anyhow, um, I want to show this, um, this screenshot of our, of our pacing chart. Um, the 12th was our last day and we did cover 10.1 and 10.2. However, many students did not show up, uh, partly because that was uh, right before our class. Um, the chancellor uh, sent out a message saying that we were going to go to online instruction and uh, many of Many students did not make it to that class. Um, and then, uh, you know, fast forward to the 16th and, and the 17th was our, supposed to be our next class, but we, were not, we were not, weren't online yet. And we were preparing to transition. Yesterday was the first day for the college. And then, of course, our class meets on the 19th on Thursday. So um, what I decided to do is to redo chapter uh, 10, 1 and 10, 2, even though I covered it on the 12th, um, but many students were missing that day. So we'll, we'll go ahead, what we'll do is we'll cover it again um, uh, today, start fresh, and then here's our pacing um, schedule for the rest of uh, this time until we take a test. Um, then we do 10-2, and that's gonna be paced out on the 24th, and then 10-5, and then a review day and then a test on the 2nd of April, and then you guys have spring break. Anyhow, um, this is, I uh, just wanted you to see this uh, this um, schedule and kind of get an idea of what we're doing. Um, also, um, as you are looking at um, some of the questions in this section, this is uh, counting or combinatorics. Um, I'm also going to post uh, this sum of two dice, two rolled dice uh, chart for you to use. This makes um, some of our counting questions in 10.5 much easier and I'll have this for you and you can use this during uh, a test or during uh, homework or, or whatever. Um, the way this works is here's uh, one die, the outcomes of one die, um, of course one through six and outcomes of the second die, one through six, and this is all possible outcomes and of course this is summing the die. So if, if you rolled a five on one die and you rolled let's say a two on the second die, uh, five plus two makes a total sum of seven. So anyways, this shows the sum of two rolled dice. So it's a handy chart to have, especially when we're looking at um, problems in 10.5. Also, there's some questions about cards and um, the deck of cards, I think in 10.3 and 10.5, uh, definitely in 10.5. Anyhow, um, this is uh, really nice to look at when we're looking at those uh, questions, combinatoric or counting questions when they're talking about cards. I will also post this in um, Canvas. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show you was uh, when we take a look at our um, My Math Lab account, when you come down here, of course, we have our, uh, no, let's see, what am I doing? Right, we've got our homework, right? We can look at, and I'm not sure why this thing's not doesn't have the little ring when um, when I click uh, like it did before. But anyhow, that's something I'll have to figure out. We have 10.1, 10.2, 10.3, and 10.5 uh, posted. And these are the, the sections, the counting sections in Chapter 10 we're going to have on our next test. Um, the, the other thing I really wanted to show you is uh, take a look at um, this uh, section or this um, pull-down menu called Chapter Contents. If you take a look at Chapter 10, and then let's go to 10.1. Uh, uh, these are the two lectures I'd like you to take a look at today. You click on the section video lecture, and up comes um, a lecture there. Hi, my name is Sue. In this lesson, we'll you look at counting one-part tasks, two-part tasks using tables, and three-part tasks can, um, using three up also, diagrams. Which is kind of nice. You probably wish you could counting. do that to me in class. Purpose, counting means um, finding the number but of objects you can speed her up, you can slow her down, you can go regular pace, we will use and of course you can fast forward. So there's a nice thing. Carol, Michael, and so this gives you instruction, this gives you lecture, A, B, C, 
pop up from that section. How many ways can this group select? And uh, let's see, let me go back. Of course, you go to 10.2. Uh, That's the other one you should look at today. Uh, section lecture 10.2 able to get into there and that's uh, using fundamental counting Hi, principles again in this lesson, we'll look at uh, a little more detailed rather uh, than listing out all more possible questions ways to accomplish a multi-step set of which tasks which can use the fundamental counting and, uh, principle which states using that when a task consists of k separate parts principle and test. satisfies the uniformity criterion anyhow the uh, let me pause that and so you're able to access all these different lectures we're not doing 10.4 but you could access these lectures in this section and then of course uh, go back to the main menu main menu oops main menu and um, do the homework as we've done before okay so I hope that um, helps clarify a little bit of what we're doing I'm going to continue to post um, in uh, canvas and also uh, make some videos for you I'm trying to figure out how to post these videos in canvas um, I'm also going to work out some homework problems uh, for you and post in there. I'm still working out how to do that. Anyhow, I hope everybody is doing fine and uh, good to have you back. Get on this stuff. Uh, make sure you have 10.1 and 10.2. I know some people have already done that. You can work ahead if you want as well. All right. Take care. I hope everybody is doing fine.